What's happening guys? Today we're going to be doing a fun little job which is building the storage boxes for the little cavities I've left under my bed frame. Now the main reason I want to do that today is because everything I've got in the van at the moment as I drive is rolling around. I got salt and pepper bloody knocking all over the place and so I'd like to finally have those storage boxes in so I can stop being worried that things are going to smash up as I take corners way too quickly. So in total, there are three little storage boxes that I'm going to build. Which are the two at the front and this large one here. Now in order to do this, we're just going to keep it pretty simple. We're just going to be using a bit of plywood, some little uh, bullet head nails and some glue. So I don't think this will take too long. I might rebate the joints out just to make it a little bit tidier. But all I have to do now is take some measurements, work out the exact dimensions that I want for the boxes, and then we start knocking it together. Welcome to the backyard. I've got all my pieces measured, ready to cut. So now all I gotta do is clamp them down and cut them as straight as I can with my little circular saw. So I now have all the pieces cut for my three boxes. Next step is to use my laminate trimmer and I'm going to just do a little rebate in behind the front pieces so that these side ones can sit in there nice and tight and it should just provide a little bit more structural support for the box. So I now have all my pieces cut and the little rebate's done in as well. So the next step for me is to start building the actual shape of the box so to join it, I'm going to be using a little bit of PVA glue and then I've bought some little uh, bullet head nails as well. So here I've got my pieces that I used with the laminate trimmer. That should give me a pretty nice edge when the boxes are all done. So I'm just going to quickly, before I fix anything off, double check that this is all cut correct. Alright, that looks like it should go together pretty nice. So that's storage box number one all finished. Considering that's the smallest one, I think these are gonna come out looking pretty nice. And they're pretty structurally sound as well. So here we have box one and two. Very happy with how they've come out. Just gonna to knock together the large box and then she's all ready to stain. Now just as something I picked up, this was my tester piece for trying to get those joins right. I did this one by just trying to hold it up and support it while nailing down. And clearly, not only is that not a right angle, really hard to get the nails through. So that's where I picked up for the rest of them. If you clamp the joint a piece to the table, then have the piece you're nailing down to just sitting on top of it. You only have to support it the one way. And it's a lot easier to get that joint right than if you've got a wobbly piece. So for doing those first couple right angle joints, just get a surface if you have a vise or clamps and lock it in place makes your life a hell of a lot easier. So now with these ones, I'm ready to start staining. All right, I'm gonna give it two coats overall. And then the fun part, putting the handles on and my storage is ready to go. So we'll start staining now. So with the handles on and the box is stained, all that's left to do now is put them in. And there we go, that simple job has increased my storage under the bed by a lot and made the space under there a lot more practical as well as tidying up those gaps. I've used the same handles as ever or else just to keep with the theme and honestly, very happy with how that's come out. 